another video. Some of you might recognize this spot. I used to film here all the time, but I am at home on fall break, so I finally had a chance to actually sit down and film this video. Um, I hadn't vlogged in a minute, so I thought I would catch y'all up to speed on how law school is going, what I'm involved in on campus, do I like my law school, all of that. <laughs> so if you care to know, then keep on watching. All right, I'm gonna start off with the extracurricular activities I'm involved in. And so I have two pro bono projects this semester and I will give Irvine credit for that. We have an amazing pro bono program. They give us so many great opportunities to volunteer with organizations from the ACLU to the Innocence Projects to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, which is actually one of my pro bono projects this semester. So basically I look for recently filed cases and I see if it's one that the NAACP would assist with. And if so, I summarize it, write a memo about it and we send it off and kind of go from there. My second project is actually assisting with Afghan humanitarian parole requests. I love this project because it's more hands-on and I get to talk directly to people who need our help. Um, so again, I will give Irvine credit because they have great, great, great pro bono opportunities. I wanted to add a third project, but I was just like, stop. You cannot do all of the things. <laughs> but outside of that, I am also a student representative on our equity, diversity, and inclusion committee. So basically this, as you can tell from the name, we lead all of our school law school's diversity efforts, uh, but I'm actually on a specific subcommittee that deals with implementing our new race and indigeneity. Why can't I say that? Race and indigeneity course. <laughs> but I really, really was so excited to take part in this because I was a sociology major and I feel like this is bringing me back to my roots a little bit. Um, so spring semester, one else usually has to take an international law course that the students just was not feeling, okay? So last year they actually fought to get a race requirement implemented in the law school. And now I get to help, and myself and two other students, we get to help craft the learning goals, see what the curriculum could look like for that course. Uh, it's just really exciting because this is something, a requirement all 1Ls will have to take hopefully for the end of time. So it's cool to have a part in that. Um, and then I'm also an admissions ambassador and I had to do this because it sounded so similar to what I get to do through YouTube, which is talk to aspiring law students about the law school admissions process, about UCI law specifically. I also get to help plan events for admitted students weekend, which I'm so excited about. Um, and then I also am on the media and marketing committee as an admissions ambassador, because I feel like Irvine needs to step up their social media presence. Like we we got we could do a little we could do a little better. <laughs> As for my classes, I definitely got lucky. I love all of my professors. I have a least favorite and then a favorite, but I do like all of them. I like my classes. I can tell that they really do care about seeing us do well, which I think makes a difference. Um, other one else have not had the same experience. So again. I got lucky, <laughs> but I do enjoy the law school. And funny enough, I am not scared of poll calls, you guys. This is so crazy to me because going into law school, I definitely was, but I got here and I was just like, nobody cares. Like, <laughs> like I cannot tell you one moment where a student really messed up a cold call because I just, that is not something you are really focused on. Don't be afraid of cold calls, especially if you do the reading and you prepare for class, like you'll be all right, okay? You'll make it through. But yeah, I definitely like my law school. As for living in Irvine, that's sort of a different story. I just feel like Irvine needs a little more life to it and low key a little more color. <laughs> um, that's a different, we could talk about that more, but I do like my law school and that's where I spend majority of my time. So I think that's what matters most. Uh, but would I stay in Irvine? No. Now, I will say friendships in law school are very interesting. I was watching Michelle Amore's video, and she talks about this, and it was like the same exact experience. Um, but first of all, I do not have a section. Like, Irvine does, mi well, this year, they did mixed mods. So normally, you take all of your first-year classes with all of the same people. Ours, we're all over the place. So I might see somebody Monday and then not see them again the rest of the week, which is a little weird. Um, I definitely talk to all of the people I sit around in class before class starts and stuff like that. But it, it, I feel like the, the mixed mod thing 
is a little weird in terms of solidifying friendships. And then also, I'm not a study group person. I do not like them, never have, probably never will. So that's how a lot of people form friendships in law school. And I'm kind of like, eh, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> and then also, I think law students, they just love to talk about law school all the time. And I get it, that is the first thing that kind of connects all of us to each other. But I don't want to hear about that all day long. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't. I like to have fun. And if I'm trying to have fun, I don't want to discuss law school or these readings. So I think friendships in law school is interesting, but I do really like the sense of community my law school has regardless. It's not super competitive um, from what I've been able to see. It's also not quite final season yet. So that might change, I don't know. But generally, everybody is really nice and also really helpful um, if there's something we don't understand in class. Like for example, contracts is my struggle class. If there's something I don't understand, the people around me will answer my questions or try to explain things to me. Um, and we all do that for each other too, so I can appreciate that. Because other law schools, they scare you and make it sound like they're just so competitive and they try to sabotage you, but that has not been my experience. Thankfully, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to touch on, but I don't think so. I just wanted to let you guys know my pro bono projects. Um, outside of pro bono and being an admissions ambassador and on our equity, diversity, and inclusion committee, that's a mouthful. Um, I also am just a general member of the Black Law Students Association in our First Generation Professionals Club, and then also our Public Interest Law Fund. But honestly, those don't have major time commitments at all, so. Um, you definitely are able to balance. But with that being said, if you are 1L and you are just getting by, <laughs> you're not involved in anything, you just stay in a flow, that's fine too. Law school is hard enough on its own, at least your first year especially. So you're good. <laughs> but I will say, if you can get involved, that is the fun part of law school for me. It is not spending my Saturdays reading all day is actually participating in the causes that I care about. So I highly encourage you guys to do the same because again, it makes all the difference in your law school experience. If I was just in the house reading all day, I would go crazy, okay? But the fact that I get to do things like pro bono, for example, makes this experience a little bit better just a little. But that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was again a short update before I get back into vlogging because I do want to be consistent on YouTube until the end of the year or until final season hits. I'm holding myself to that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.